Good morning, everyone. The Internet used to be a boys' club, but not anymore. In a matter of a few years, women have caught up with men online, and they're about to surpass them. Lauren Hunter reports, in all sorts of ways, the web is becoming female-friendly. I believe I'll log on. Oprah Winfrey was an Internet neophyte when she decided to educate herself and others about the web. So how does this work? All right. Winfrey is one of the founders of Oxygen, a cable and web programmer geared specifically to women. They want the straight story, and they want an attitude that treats them as if they're smart. Four years ago, women made up fewer than 10% of all web users. Now half of the Internet's 100 million users are women, and 41% go online daily. Oh, I'm incredibly reliant on the computer. Anna Maria Pierce-Simoni runs the Enhanced TV Workshop at the American Film Institute. She's married with two children and describes herself as very wired. I use it for research on almost anything, health research and travel. I check the parental sites for movie reviews and music reviews. I get a lot of my news this way. So I can manage my accounts, I can transfer funds. It's made something easier for us in a very, very complicated world. That's the goal of the hundreds of websites by women for women, geared to the advertiser-friendly 18 to 49 demographic. The web, at least historically, has not given women what they need. It tends to be very much of a boy fest. And over the last couple of years, more and more sites have come out to support women's needs. In fact, women-specific sites have more than 50 million page views each month. It's not that women need a specific site on the web. I, I just think women want it. Marlene McDaniel is CEO and chairman of Women.com, online since 1992 with nearly 2.5 million members and 100,000 pages of content. There are topics and there are times and places when you just want the companionship of other women. iVillage.com began five years ago with Parent Soup. Now 85% of its revenue comes from ads and sponsorship. We have um, over 21 channels. Um, most of those are around particular topics, whether it is Money Life or Elections 2000. It's about really humanizing cyberspace. SheClicks.com focuses on technology's application to daily life. It is the tool for women to keep their head screwed on, have a perspective, have a sense of humor, keep their act together. All that at the click of a mouse. Lauren Hunter, CNN Entertainment News, Hollywood. Later on Showbiz Today, Robin Williams goes online with his own internet talk show. He gives us an inside look, plus a band called the Flaming Lips. They're the hot talk in music. That's on Showbiz Today at 4.30 p.m. Eastern, 1.30 Pacific on CNN. Reporting from Hollywood, I'm Paul Verkamen. Right. Thank you, Paul. It's going to do it for us. We're out of time. Yeah, we got to go. Thanks for being with us.